Hey guys, how are you all doing? Uh, well, today I'm actually troubleshooting an issue that we're having with our Whirlpool dishwasher here. It's a gold series. And what the problem is, is that there's water that's dripping down from underneath here. And let me show you. So I'm at the bottom of the dishwasher now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this rubber guard here and then this plastic shield. Um, normally there's a, like um, plastic tabs on here, but because it's been leaking, I had to have a pail underneath there or a pan. So I left that off because I had to empty it like every night. So where it was leaking was right over on this side. You see this bracket here? It's leaking right over there and you can tell it's been leaking a lot because you can see the discoloration of the cabinet right here the water damage and then also some of the tile has been coming up as well so what I noticed was that it was dripping only on the bar like right over there and it started right when I had started the wash cycle so I was like, okay, well, it's possibly it may be the water line going into the dishwasher. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to troubleshoot that and, um, yeah, see what the problem is. The first thing you want to do is make sure you turn off the power to the dishwasher. In my case, it's number 12 uh, breaker, which is this one right here oh you know what I forgot actually it was already off because I didn't want nobody using it so we'll turn it that way okay then you want to turn off the hot water going uh, which this is the pipe here that's going to the dishwasher so I have to actually turn off the valve here and the reason why you want to do this is because while you're pulling the dishwasher out if for some reason you pull the holes loose it will have water going everywhere open the door oh yeah let me show you this and this is the model number here okay so in order to pull the dishwasher out there are two screws one here and then uh, one here that I'm going to remove so in order to get this out, you just pull the door down and then you kind of just lift out. It's a tight squeeze, but it'll come out. And what you want to be careful is, you want to be careful of your hoses as well as the electrical line. Now in my case, I can pull this out pretty far without having to worry about the electrical line and the actual uh, holes. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull from the bottom only because of the electrical cable. And you see here, yeah, you want to be careful of the insulation because it might get caught, like in my case here. So, um, so, yeah, so now I pulled it out and um, we'll continue on troubleshooting. What you need to do huh? is this little plastic uh, Christmas tree fastener. Don't pull this out. All you need to do, and I'll get closer, is just work the insulation around it. Um, and this won't tear it if you're careful, like that, see? Huh? And then just lift this up. Yeah. Yes, Daddy. Right. Okay. All right. So, um, huh? so what I suspect is, I suspect that this inlet hose here is, this is what supplies the water into the actual, inside of the, um, dishwasher. Ow, Joseph, that hurts. Don't do that. Those are pliers. Huh? 
You see, those are pliers. So as you can see here, it clamps here. So this is the inlet uh, holes here. And it comes through here. And what it does is it follows up all the way through here. And this goes on the inside. Yes. Which I'll show you that right quick. Yes, I hear that. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Huh? Uh, which is this right here. Huh? See that? Yeah. That right there. Okay, so what I'm going to do to confirm the leak is I'm just going to do a one hour cycle and I'm press start. Close the door. We'll see what happens. So I'm just going to give it a minute. Oh, and see, there you go. You see the water's coming out. All right, let me stop before my son starts playing in the water. Anyway. So. No, I'm not going to turn it back on. We're trying to fix this, remember. So, um, so what I'll have to do is I'm going to have to order this part because I do not have it. And, yeah, I guess this just breaks down, you know, with uh, time. You know, I think our dishwasher is maybe five or six years old, something like that. So, I'm going to order the part, and then I'll come back and, uh, and show you how to install it. So the part came and actually it came really fast. It came within less than 24 hours. So this is the um, fill holes here. And I haven't pulled open it yet, but when I do, I'm gonna make sure it's the same length as that one. So really the only thing that needs to be done is there's two hose clamps, one here and then one down here. And then I have to take off the uh, fill holes uh, cap which is on the inside let me show you that how to take that off so what I'm going to use I'm going to use some channel locks here and I'm going to take this off so that way I can unscrew it and it should be lefty loosey righty tighty See how it just screws off. You could actually leave this on the inside of the dishwasher so that way you don't lose it. Well, hi, Joseph. Hi. Okay. Fun. Yeah. I like it. You like it, huh? It's cool. It's cool? You don't want to nap, huh? It is. Okay. All right. So I'm going to close this up and then I'm going to swing this back over. And you can come back. I can come back. Well, you know what? You're just in time. You want to go get your work gloves and help me? Sure. All right, my son, he loves helping me. Okay, so I'm going to put you back here. And now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this off. So you see how it comes out just like that. Because in order to be able to replace the holes, this has to, you have to be able to take this off. And so, I actually have, but you don't really need, I have some uh, holes clamp pliers that I'm going to use, but it's not necessary to do so. Now, there is a possibility there may be some water in here, so just have a, a rag handy so that you can... Uh, make sure that you don't make a mess on the floor and also get my screwdriver to kind of pry this up be careful because this piece here is made out of plastic and you don't want to you don't want to damage that don't want to damage you only want to replace the part that's messed up okay well let me go ahead and get this these this off here and then I'll come back okay so got it off and then all I have to do is, is just remove it from out of here see how it has indentation here 
and it fits right in here. Make sure you don't lose the washer or the rubber uh, seal that's right here as well. This prevents water from coming back out. And so now, I'm going to come under here. I'm going to remove this one. And again, be very careful because these pieces are plastic that it's attached to. So you don't want to, you definitely don't want to damage it. So again, I'm going to pause this as I get remove this one here. Okay, so um, here it is. Here it is removed. So now I'm going to go ahead and open up the package so that... I know, didn't I? Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, open it. Can you hand me this package right there? Okay. Yeah, thank you. Where are your gloves? They should be up front. They're, we're looking on the floor up front. Yeah, they're up front. Yeah, no. I mean, that's still good. But why don't you, yeah, look for your gloves. Okay, so here are the two hoses. They're identical in size and in length. Um, so, what you want to do is remove the old clips from the old holes and put on the new holes. You may want to empty out the water, so you want to do that. So, I'm taking out the old hoses and putting them on the new. It's amazing that this little hose created that much water damage. Unbelievable. Okay, so you want to make sure that your clamp is in a position where you can get your tool onto it. And then just slide it on there. Like so. that is in there now normally when I'm doing this kind of work I would put some kind of like grease on it but because this is a dishwasher I'm not going to do that probably just a little water maybe a little soapy water may do it that make a more mess well I'll make sure I'll make sure to clean it up okay Okay, so this is done. So I'm gonna insert this back in. I'm gonna attach our hose back on here and then go on the inside and put the cap back on. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the cap back on. You see the sun? You see I do. The sun? And I'm gonna just hand tighten this. It shouldn't. I shouldn't need my tool to tighten this. Okay, so I'm gonna close this up. And you can't come back. I'm gonna turn on the power and the water, and I'm gonna test it for leaks. Okay, so uh, the power's back on. I turned the water back on. So I'm gonna do a one-hour wash, and I'm gonna do start, and let's check the leaks. So, I can actually feel the water going through here right now, and uh, no leaks. Because as you remember before, as soon as I turned it on, it had water spraying all out of here. So, there's, uh, there's your fix. Real simple, easy. Um, the part was only like $31 um, plus shipping. So, 
you know, I hope uh, this video was helpful to you. Uh, installation is the reverse. If you have any questions, post them in the comments. I will also put a link in the description for the actual website that I used to buy the part from. You guys have yourself a blessed day.